Hey guys, welcome to part two of the Barnett DRT 405 crossbow. Uh, reason we're doing the part two of this video is because we want to go over how to shoot the bow. We're just going to briefly go over all the accessories and everything that the bow has to offer. Uh, if you want to watch a real descriptive video of all this, the first video I believe uh, the Bass Bros ever made, our video, we, uh, we discussed all this, broke it all down for you guys. So if you want a more descriptive video, Go to our YouTube page, the first video right there, it should be on it. I'm going to put the link to the description of the, we're going to be shooting the Bone Collector Target today and the Big Shooter off of Amazon. Uh, that's a 3D buck target. We're going to go over that in just a second before we actually shoot the bow. So yeah, let's just go over briefly over this. You know, like I said before, hollow illuminated scope, anti-dry fire, quick quiver attachment, uh, we are going to go over the Rage Broadhead in uh, our next video. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave the quiver off right now. We don't ever shoot with our quivers on, even in hunting season. We use a bow hanger, which we'll go over that in uh, uh, maybe the next couple of videos. Um, the crank, as I went over for before, I'm going to go over that in just a minute. Uh, and yeah, the, besides that, the push claw, handrail really nice trigger if you ask me it doesn't it, when you pull that it don't move at all you'll get to see that uh we'll uh, zoom in for you guys so yeah let's go over here and uh walk down on guys i'll show you the shooter We'll just start off by going off of the shooter buck. Shooter buck is a 3D buck card, I already said that. Comes with a replaceable bore. Alright, I'm going to show you guys how to take the bore in and out. The antlers come out, I'll show you that. And yes, in case for all you buck fans out there right now, you're wondering how many points is this. That's a 10 point right there. So, uh, real, pretty real, real life. Pretty lifelike if you ask me. Now to get the core in, you're gonna wanna get the core out, you just wanna lightly tap it. Just like that. It'll come right out. As you can see, we've shot it a few times. Alright, I'll show you guys how to put it back in. Slide it up just like that. The first time you put this in, you're gonna need a rubber mallet. You may need a rubber mallet, because we had a really hard time getting it in. Once you get in, after a couple times, this is like our second or first time I'm using it. No. Second or third, excuse me. We're using it. Works pretty nice. I'll show you, show you guys how uh, we set it up and everything. So to start out with, so we move that. It comes with stakes, so it'll never fall. It'll never wobble. Uh, just use a hammer to put these in. Uh, the legs come off just like that. And they go on just like this. Same to do with the front, just like that. There's nothing to put together on the entire core. That's another good reason we bought it. There's two settings in the feet. As you can see, uh, one set one setting makes it set up a little higher. I'll go over that and uh, just a little bit. So here I'll show you guys. We use the deeper hole. It goes way up into the feet, as you can see. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put it in. Just make sure when you put the stakes in, you line them up. Cameraman's trying to show right now. Alright, just line up like that. Make sure you look. There we go. Slide right down. Just do it equally. As you can see, I did. But yeah, look at that. It's solid as a rock. I didn't even move it. It's windy out here today. It's not blowing. Now it's time to go over some of the details. That I'm going to put the link in the description for this so you guys can read all about it on Amazon. Like I said before, the buck stands from, uh, let me get this right, stands 40 inches, 40 inches tall from here to the highest point, I think it's right here. 40 inches tall from that tail bone right there, that tail bone right here, that hoo, I should say. Uh, really easy to see, it's, I have to say this now. Whatever they say in the Amazon reviews, your arrow does not come out easy. 
you're gonna see that in a minute the arrow is really sneaking hard to get out of these which is a good thing and uh the arrow always does stop it, it stops like i don't know five inches before the fletching so you don't have to worry about that ruining your arrows uh so yeah that's about it only use steel tip arrows in here don't be using uh fake broadheads in here okay guys it stands uh also uh to give you a measurement feet stands four feet tall so yeah let's go ahead and uh, let's look at the i think i got everything yeah i don't i do not have a price on this but it will be in the link to the description i believe it's like by the way it's 40 bucks for the core 40 bucks and let me tell you this guys this core right here is very the actual, oh, just remember, the actual deer right here, the actual, the, the whole buck is 105 with the core. The core itself is worth 40 bucks to replace it. And let me tell you this, guys, it's a little secret. Uh, nothing against uh, the shooter buck, the guy, people that made it. But this core that comes with it, it's very trashy. The core that they sell, though, that uh, they uh, make the replacements, it's very good and durable. I just wanted to point that out. So they did a very excellent job. Uh, making new cores for them. All right, then like we always say, try to practice behind a wood file or something, just in case you miss uh, your arrow going that We never miss, I shouldn't say that, but. All right, now let's go over the Wound Collector BC300. All right, now guys, this is a Walmart target. Uh, our, oh, I'm what you're thinking right now, our bow is a 405, and we're shooting into a 300 target. But let me go ahead and explain. This target is really durable. I mean, it is extremely durable. We've been shooting this for two years now. And we were shooting field tips and uh, fake reach hit broadheads into it for uh, shooting broadheads. And if you guys know what that is, uh, we'll go over. Uh, it's, a, it's a broadhead reach makes it fake, and it, you uh, test your arrows to see which one flies the best. But enough about that. This target is 27, excuse me, 20, 29.97 at Walmart. All right, it, yeah, I do recommend you just shoot field points in it. That's what they recommend. But as you can see, look, we've been shooting. Uh, it does start to get big holes in it. This is our third year using this. It works absolutely excellent. excellent. Most targets only last a year, guys. So this is really good for the price. We're using this for three years. It has the hangers up top and the handle, like every target usually has. Um, we're going to start off by shooting this first right here. It has foam inside, as you can see. I wanted to point that out. That'll start to pull out as it gets older. But, uh, yeah. Anyone wants to go over with this? So, uh, yeah, let's go back up and, uh, get the and it's time to shoot it. So, let's go ahead. And we're back, guys. So, uh, I forgot to mention this in our first video. Uh, almost forgot to mention it now barnet we bought this at dunham's we actually bought two of them now uh, this year we just bought another one at dunham's uh for the 405 you guys know a lot 550 dollars comes with a five-year standard warranty on them uh i have to say this they stand right behind their product uh not to say that barnet doesn't make good stuff we're very impressed but the cranking mechanism went on this bow uh is actually the switch that went on it it just never got tight you know what i mean when pulling it you'll see that in a second it never clicked it just went and the handle got real bent and everything the shaft inside here got bent so it went bad uh same deal with these though we're just shooting the barnet 20 inch arrows you see that oh but just remember this is just you guys should know this the white vein always go down Whatever the opposite color is. Uh, these, this is a typical field point broadhead. These come with the arrows. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and shoot it. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. I had the cheek adjustment on it. I already mentioned this in our video, but let's go ahead and show you guys how to crank it. So, let me set this here. All right, it'll start out just like this. So, you're going to take this switch, pull it down to off. And you're going to want to do one turn off of that like that, about half a turn. Support down like that. 
Oops, all right, it'll be just long enough to get to there, and it should stay right up here in that groove. All right, then when you want to flick that toe on, you start cranking real slow, and you start to watch your string come up, and you hear the safety click. That's the anti-dry fire. The safety automatically goes on. Because, uh, but the anti-dry fire really is, it has to have an arrow in it to fire. So the safety's already on right now. All right, then you want to just click that back to on. Get your other rest of slack up till right there. And it's good. All right. Let's go ahead and shoot this. Make sure your rail is good and waxed. As you can see, it's real good and waxed. Make sure there's no... There's a tiny bit of wax down there. Make sure there's no wax down there in your safety. It can make it stick. We've had that before. All right. Make sure this vein's always down. Guys. Make sure your broadhead's always tight. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and shoot. Uh, we'll meet you down there at the target after I shoot. We're shooting the bone collector first. Right, let's go down, guys. These bows are very accurate. We never had a problem either. It's not a not hard at all to shoot down. This is a 20 yards I wanted to mention. Actually, 25 yards for shooting. Sitting down. Right there. I mean, that's nice, guys. We're going to shoot standing up at this right now. Next. Yeah. We're going to try standing up at this. See how I do. Go ahead. Okay. down here same drill put your foot down there we're gonna again flick that to off do about a quarter of a turn let it right down right there hook it right up should be just long enough change to perfectly tight and flick it back to on start cranking it up once you get this down in a routine you better do this real fast Took us a while because before we had the bows where you hook it and pull it up. By the way, you don't always have to flick this on. You can reel it all up like that. You don't have to, but that's the way we always done it. Just wanted to point that out. But yeah, you're going to want to make sure you turn it on because when you're hunting, you don't want to hear this. You want to have that rat on. Alright, guys. Let's go ahead and shoot another one. Here. All right, ready? This vein down. 25 yards we're shooting at the shooter buck now. Let's go ahead and do it. So make sure your arrow, I'll forget to mention this. Make sure your arrow is all the way flat up against the piece of metal on there, the trigger. So it makes the arrow, I'm put that flaps down and it allows the string to go forward. Just make sure that's always down. And I'll meet you guys down at the shooter buck. Go ahead. down look. Uh, I forgot to mention this. Some of the more expensive box targets they make in Doe 3D uh, shooter box. They uh, have the vitals. All this does show a little bit of the vitals here. As you can see I just barely nicked the heart. Yeah that's about that's a, that's about the size of a deer's heart to believe it. This is all the vitals here though. As you can see uh, right there we've been shooting a group Pretty tight around here, about a three inch screw at 25 yards. So we're pretty good. Like now, I want to show you guys how it's hard to get your air out. We mean, usually, me and my uh, partner usually try to get this thing out. My cameraman have a hard time getting this out. But yeah, it's really stinking hard to get them out. It blows right through the other side. Like I said before, it stops about three to four inches. Right, not really close to the fletching, but comfort zone, if you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, go ahead and see if we can get this out if we can't. Uh, we'll have to get out later. Yeah, I didn't buck coming out. I'll have to get that later. But uh, yeah, uh, really impressed with the bow. Uh, 
I wanted to do this for a while now. Sorry for the delay. Thank you for all the new subscribers and everything, all the support. I believe we hit uh, 52 subscribers now. So, yeah, we're getting more and more every uh, week. And we're going to try to keep doing more videos. Happy Labor Day to everyone. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, keep on fishing.